Ford Focus Manual Swap Part 7 Module Programming. The purpose of this video is to show you how to configure your automatic PCM to a manual PCM, as well as any other module configuration you need to do. This video is for you guys who have modified your automatic harness and uh, kept your automatic PCM. And that is the easiest way to go through all this. If you have swapped over the harness to a manual harness, and swapped over the PCM to a manual PCM, this is not the video for you. Check the description below. I'll have content that is helpful for you. But continuing on here. At this point, you guys should have swapped over your manual transmission, done all the wiring work and everything that I've gone over in the previous six videos. Your car should be drivable with a 3500 RPM limiter. You won't have reverse lights. But once you're done here, it should run and drive just like it came from a manual from the factory. Quick disclaimer, anytime you're programming a module, there is an inherent risk to bricking or damaging the module, but I will go over ways to mitigate that risk. But by continuing, you are doing this at your own risk. When it comes to programming the PCM portion particularly, I recommend OBD Link EX and not a cheap knockoff for the OBD interface. I also recommend putting a charger on the battery while programming the PCM especially and having your battery load tested first. <laughs> and since you are programming your automatic PCM to a manual PCM, you don't have to worry about changing VINs or any key programming or anything like that. All you've got to do is program it. And if you're manual swapping your transmission, I highly recommend joining our Discord server, link in the description. Scroll down and click on the Discord logo for the link. If you're not sure about what calibration to download for your PCM, we can also help with that in the Discord. The first thing you're going to want to do here is get the Forescan 2.4 beta. Now in order to do that, you want to go to the Forescan website and buy an extended license, which is currently about $12 a year. After getting the license, you'll want to register in their forum using a code that they send you. Once you've registered in their forum, click the link below. You will need to go to their hidden form, they call it and download the beta from there. I recommend reading all their disclaimers on that because it might save you a PCM. Once again, there's an inherent risk to breaking a module if you don't follow instructions properly. Next, I will put a link below in the description for OBD Link EX. I recommend having a laptop with a little charger connected to it. And you'll want internet access while you're programming. When you start up Forescan, it may ask you if you want to optimize your interface for high speed. Click yes. All right, moving on here. BCM and Instrument Cluster Configuration. This guide was written by a fellow subscriber who is a software programmer for vehicles. This guide is also written down in the Discord group in a PDF file so that you can read it at your leisure. First thing you're going to want to do here is click on the computer chip icon, which is for configuration and programming. And then you're going to want to click, click on Central Configuration Main for the body control module and then click the play button. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the save to save any of the current configuration in case anything goes wrong. In the step two, you're going to click uh, that drop down menu and change to engineering mode to be able to make your changes. All right, and step three has two different steps here. Uh, so 3A, you're going to go ahead and update the gearbox to option 07. And 3B, you're going to go ahead and update gearbox type to 01. And it will be obvious when you go in there, it will say that, like, for example, 01's a manual and 07's a MTX 75, so don't worry about that. All right, and uh, step four, you're going to go ahead and switch back to normal mode on that drop-down menu. And after that, go ahead and click right to send changes to the body control module. And after that, you can go ahead and click right to backup, and that should send the changes to the instrument cluster as well. And finally, go ahead and click the stop button to end the procedure. Now, I do recommend... Going back into configuration and programming and clicking on IPC or instrument cluster module configuration and just making sure that the changes did apply in there. If not, then repeat the procedure for that module right there, the instrument cluster. It should be the same drop down menus in process, but make sure you are in the IPC module configuration. Yeah, don't click on the IPC firmware update or as built format, just click on module configuration. All right, moving on. ABS configuration. All you've got to do here is go ahead and click back on that computer chip icon and bring up configuration and programming. Look down on the list and you will see ABS module initialization slash relearn from central configuration. 
Click on that and it's a quick procedure and it's going to go ahead and relearn the data and be all done after that. You'll be able to move on to the PCM programming. Okay. All right, boys, PCM programming. Make sure that your laptop and your car are on chargers. Make sure you're using OBD Link EX and be careful and follow the instructions precisely. And, I, and once again, you can join the Discord and read this entire process at your own speed on, with the PDF file written in the Discord. And if you join a Discord, you can also make sure you get the right PCM firmware downloaded before you start. Click on the computer chip icon. Click on P PCM module firmware update. You're going to want to go to motorcraftservice.com. Get any calibration files that you may need to get. Details on how to do that are in the server as well in the PDF file. But moving on here, step two, change the dropdown from available to custom. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and select the VBF file that you extracted from the zip file for the Strategy CAN F188. That's your uh, calibration there. The uh, button that you click is the one with the three dots, and you'll be able to load the file there. Now for the other calibration file, that is going to be the secondary bootloader. Now once again, the secondary bootloader is a different file than the strategy, and uh, Forescan should download that for you, but if not, you can also download that from the uh, calibration download site, Motorcraft Service. It should be the same part number that's already in the car. Your part numbers on all these steps might differ. Don't just get what I have on here. That, that might ruin your module. Anyway, once you've loaded in the calibration files for the secondary bootloader and the strategy, they should both be lit up green on the screen there next to where you uh, clicked. If they aren't, don't continue. Uh, do not continue. Make sure that you uh, uploaded the right calibration files. VBF format. Next, do make sure that forced uh, program unchanged firmware and stop activity on buses boxes are checked below, and recovery mode and ignore checksum are unchecked. Next, make 100% sure that you are connected to a charger on your car and on your laptop. You don't want your items to drain down while you're, while you're doing this. All right, guys, moving on. Go ahead and click Test Run SBL. By doing that, you're just kind of doing a test run here, making sure everything's going to work fine. Assuming everything did, go ahead and move on here. But if it gave you an error, just once again, double check that you had the right files uploaded and everything's good to go there. After that, you can go ahead and click Program. Get the ball rolling there. That'll go ahead and get your manual configuration into your PCM and get that all ready to go. It would be advisable to uh, put the same automatic configuration into the PCM first just to test the programming. If you were to program the automatic calibration back into it again and you have a problem all of a sudden, that means there's a problem with the programming that you have to figure out. And then you can go ahead and program in your manual configuration once you know that there is no issues with programming on your side. Okay. But anyway, moving on, once you have the manual calibration loaded in, don't start your car yet. Let's move on first. You, you do want to go back to the Configuration and Programming tab, that computer chip on the left, and click PCM uh, Module Initialization slash Relearn Vehicle Data. Run that procedure. And after that, go ahead and just go in and clear all your codes out. Click on that little thing on the bottom there that says uh, Reset DTC. That'll clear them all out for you. After you do that, you can go ahead and fire up the engine. should no longer have the 3,500 mile per hour RPM <laughs> limiter there. You should have your reverse lights. You can also go check and make sure your cruise control cancellation works with the clutch. And you'll be good to go. Guys, I sure do hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, concerns, or comments, you can join the Discord group or you know ask below if it's something simple and quick. But uh, hope you have a great day. Happy driving. Thanks for checking out the video. All right, bye-bye.